Yeah, so following up with my former interviewees with Park Bench, it's much easier than following up with people that I maybe, you know, met at an open house and I have their information on my list or, you know, other people that I might follow up with because I have established that relationship with them. So, um, for example, I did an interview with uh, people who owned a bakery, opened up a bakery in Salem. And yesterday I went in to buy something special for some clients that went under agreement this past weekend to celebrate, you know, that they're under agreement, bringing a gift for my clients, but I'm also following up with the people that I did the interview. And, and I've met in that bakery, but he's seen me, we we've chatted. This isn't the first time I've followed up, but the owner was behind the counter and we just, we had a 15 minute conversation just about how his business is going, how my business is going, my, the purpose for my visit, totally natural. I didn't have to gear. I wasn't like sitting out in the car gearing up to go and have a conversation. He may have not even been behind the counter when I went in, but I was giving him business and happened to see him and, and have a great conversation. It wasn't just about him. It was about how my business was going too and how things were going with real estate in Salem. And so it was, it's very natural and easy to follow up because you already have that relationship from the interview where you, you are getting to know them, hopefully, you know, giving them a little bit about yourself too, uh, before you leave, maybe not during the interview, but before you actually walk out the door that day. So it is a mutual relationship that's genuine and doesn't feel forced or you're trying to get something out of them or, or sell them something. You're just genuinely interested in them. So that comes back. 